gentlemen, welcome back. I got a little project here that I think a lot of people will get something out of. Let's get to it. So like many people, I use these shop organizers, these kits. These ones came from Harbor Freight. And like many people, the trouble you have is if you're trying to get the bottom one, you have to remove the top two and set them somewhere to access the bottom one. There's various ways to make little units so that these will slide in and out individually. And that's going to be the goal of this particular video. So like many projects like this, the first thing I do is hunt around my shop for a couple pieces of stock that any normal person would have probably thrown away. But uh, they're not OCD like me. So these two pieces are just about the right size and shape and I'm going to mill them up. So here is a work in progress. I measured the dimensions for the, uh, the edges on my particular storage bins and I made these two sides. The dimensions depend on your particular situation and I don't have a lot of extra room so I literally just used very thin spacers and laid this out and it seems to work. Since I don't have any additional height to speak of, I'm going to use a thin piece of 26 gauge steel. I'm thinking six small screws will prevent this from racking. At the moment these are just held in place by pin nails so I can get them off easy enough and you can see my pencil marks where I just lined them up and drew a line. I have a countersinking divot in the plywood already formed. Okay, here it is pretty much finished up. I have this piece of sheet metal on the top. I didn't quite fully countersink the four screws holding it in, but that's pretty close. For the back I have a piece of plywood and I'm um, thinking if there's a way I might be able to attach the back to the top. That would make it a little more rigid. And there are the three cleats. And here it is installed. It's not so bad. It's not great, but certainly a better solution than I had. I can take the bottom one out without incident. The middle one tends to grab the top one with it. I need to move this top cleat up just a skosh to solve that problem. I do have a little bit of room up there. Now that it's installed, I can see too, this is sticking out further than it needs. I can probably take three quarters of an inch off of this thing and it won't look quite so obtrusive. And then over here I'm so tight for space that it's actually hitting the shelf support in the shelving unit. So I got a little bit of dead space in there. I might uh, knock that corner off a little bit to try to recover some of that. And here it is installed. I can pull out the bottom one or the middle one without incident. I took the time to round this edge a little bit because that was binding with the support for the shelf, but I still have a little dead space in here, which, eh, not ideal, but maybe I'll find something to put in there. Took several shots. I didn't do a build video because I was more interested in trying to figure out how to do it. So again, my particular challenge is I don't have a lot of room for my particular shelf. In fact, I can't even get this ruler under the bottom one. Can't get it between these two, and I can get it in here. I did move this one a little bit higher. And on the top, I can get the ruler on top of the screws, but it's binding toward the back of the shelf. So very, very tight fit, but it seems to work. Uh, perhaps I'll get around to building version 2 for the top shelf. But I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it all work, given the uh, low quality of the bins and uh, the tight tolerances that I had. 
And for reference, if you just stack these three together, they total about seven inches when they're touching each other. And the space I have between the two shelves is seven and a quarter inches. So there wasn't a lot of room to put space um, on either side of all three of the bins. But looks like it works pretty well, and should I go to build another one, I've got some better ideas on how to do it a little quicker. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks for stopping by.